Hey guys, welcome back. In this video and the coming videos, we will be talking about a very important thing in data science and data manipulation, data processing and analysis, and that is concatenating or merging data sets or data frames. Um, usually when we speak about concatenation, we mean um, linking or joining or concatenating two or more tables or data sets um, along the columns, so the new, uh, the resulting data set has more rows. Whereas when we speak about merging in general, we mean uh, concatenation or joining data sets or tables or data frames um, along the rows. So uh, the new resulting data set will have more columns. Um, but uh, hopefully with examples, things will be uh, much clearer. So let's import pandas the usual way we did before and let's create a few data frames. Needless to say that we can uh, read our data from CSV files, so data frame 1, data frame 2, data frame 3. Nothing special here, there's some IDs, uh, some four columns, IDs, cities, rank and population. These are just random numbers. Uh, and then again, ID, city, rank, population, and the third one has only ID, city, and rank. You notice there's overlap in the IDs, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and here we have 1, 4, 8, 9. I'll tell you why I, I, I had this. Uh, uh, this has, has a purpose. And also we have the columns here. We give column names or labels, ID, city, rank, population, and so on and so forth. Right, so we've created them. Let's have a look. The F3, yep. Now what we want to do is, in the, in, the, in the first example, is to join two data frames along the rows. And we have this concat method or function in, in Pandas. If I do shift tab, I can see here it says uh, pd.concat, uh, and we can specify the axis, whether along the rows or along the columns, and how to join. Uh, these are some uh, set operations, uh, similar to the database stuff, if, you, if, you, if you're familiar with that to ignore index, um, to use uh, some keys and stuff like that. We can read the documentation in more detail if we are interested. It's, this is a quite, quite, you know, quite a powerful function for us to be familiar with. So let's do the default concatenation. And the way we do that is we pass it two data frames in a list. So this is a list of two data frames, and this is going to uh, join them along the rows. If we run that and display the new data frame, now the, uh, the new data frame will have more rows. This is the default concatenation that we um, that we uh, that we, we we mean concatenate. That means to join along the rows. So uh, the, the, the new, new data set will have more rows. I think in the beginning I said we'll have more columns. No, we join along the rows, so we have more rows. And We've seen axis, axis is zero by default to join along the rows. We can change it to one to join or concatenate the data sets along the columns. So if we say axis equals one and then execute that, you will see that um, we uh, have now more columns, right? The two data sets have been joined. And you notice the um, column names are repeated. So the one to the left, the F1, has these columns, the one to the right, df2 has these columns, and you notice that the concat method uh, is smart enough to fill in the missing values with NANs. If you remember, the um, data frame one has five rows or five uh, records, one, two, three, four, five, data frame two has only four, so one is missing, and this is why um, uh, pandas concat method fills that with NANs. Um, what else can we say here? Let me think. Um, there's actually another interesting thing here. If you remember, when we saw the documentation, it says here, ignore index equals false. So ignore index is by default false. Uh, let's try it. If you notice here, the index here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 0, 1, 2, 3. The first five ones are from the first data frame. The, the, these four are for, for, from the second data frame. And by default, because ignore index is false, it doesn't actually uh, do anything to the index. But if we tell it 
to ignore the index you will notice the values will change now and pandas will automatically give the uh, correct index value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I hope the idea makes sense that we can actually if we don't care about the index then we can set it to ignore it and we can get the uh, uh, the values as you can see uh, I believe we spoke about uh, how to access certain elements or uh, access values in data frames before using the indices the ILOC method and so on and so forth if we wanted to try them you can say for example a new df dot um, was it ix no not ix yeah we I think we saw i call uh, if we take a look at that purely integer location based indexing this is just integer location so we can say for example of one and one and we can get London yeah and for example one and two we can get second and so on and so forth right so uh, let me stop here and in the next video and the coming few ones we're going to be talking about um, merge which is very interesting and powerful thanks again and I'll see you next time